It is 5.48 a.m. Saturday, October. I literally just looked at the clock not six seconds ago. The 26th. Maybe that's why I said six seconds. Uh, October 26th. Right. Uh, 5.48 in the morning, and I've been working for a while now. I've been taking breaks, but for the most part, I've been working. And I still have a lot of work left to do. Although I'm done for the night, so I'm going to go to sleep. Wake up at probably like 10. i got to get at least four hours to function. Usually five hours. I really hope I'll wake up at 10. I have a tendency to just forego all reasoning and logic in my wake-up time period. I'm terrible at waking up, especially on little to no sleep. Uh, fortunately, my fiance is very accommodating, and she's like, do you want an amp? And she'll go to the fridge and grab me one while I'm like, uh, what? phone, phone, why you make noise? Did you forget how to phone? Yeah, so. <sighs> I've still got quite a bit left to do. Fortunately, stuff is starting to really come together. My good friend, uh, Matt, I still need to get audio from you. We'll do that soon. I still need to get audio from a couple of the main actors. Uh, ADR. Kevin Sanzaki, who's going to be doing the audio. I think he'll be able to get it to me in time. I, I contacted the guys at Red because I was very confused and concerned about uh, delivery issues with this thing because I have to deliver it on a hard drive. And at first I was like, what do you mean I don't get the hard drive back? That sucks. I'm going to have to spend all this money on this hard drive. But the other side is that there is no entry fee if that makes sense. It doesn't cost anything to submit to this contest. Most contests or film festivals, there's usually like a 50 to $100 uh, fee, application fee, entry fee, so to say, so to speak, so to talk, so to talk, see, speak. And this, this one, there isn't... Dude, how is it, Nick, that every time I'm recording something, you send me an email? Uh, yeah, so... Sorry, it popped up on my phone. What was I talking about? <laughs> Dang it, Nick, you distracted me. Entry fee, right, so like the hard drive is the entry fee because they recycle it. So that's money that they would be spending on something anyway, so why not just use these hard drives that they recycle back into the RED program? So that's the entry fee is you donate a hard drive, which I think is actually a pretty brilliant move. I ordered, uh, that's what I love about Amazon Prime is I ordered a hard drive like today. Yeah. And I ordered, I with Amazon Prime, it's like free two-day shipping. And uh, for like an extra $4, it was one-day shipping. So it's coming tomorrow, or I guess later today at this point. I, th I think I got a 750 gig. Because if my math's right, for 11 minutes, it should come out to be about 530 gigabytes at 4K at 10-bit DPX. So, it's a lot of space. Hopefully the audio won't be too big, but there's no way it's gonna compare to DPX files. So, I mean, even if it's a gigabyte for audio, which is absurd, I've never heard of that. Um, it won't matter. So, I'm going through kind of trying to finalize my premiere edit and since I shot everything handheld uh, literally 100% handheld there's not a single locked off shot in this entire thing even the shots that look locked off are not locked off it's just warp stabilizer but even in the shots that don't need warp stabilizer I threw it on most of them at like one to two percent because I was using the lens that I used was a has image stabilizing on it so 
it's really good for like getting a good crisp image, but it kind of like shakes a little, like it'll like pop into different positions. Very, very subtle. Like imagine, I mean, imagine if you were to set the wiggle on a position, like I'm talking After Effects now, uh, an expression, the wiggle expression on position, if you were to set it to like eight at like five. Something like that, I don't know. It kind of moves, it, it jerks around a little bit, but at very, very small increments. Um, and just adding it like at one to two percent of stabilization just kind of takes away that tiny little jitteriness out of it. So it's still like, you still get the nice handheld motion look. Not shaky cam, just handheld motion, but without the micro shakes, which is like perfect. But the biggest issue I've been running into is that I have to render all this out as one final image sequence and then pull that into DaVinci Resolve because those stabilizing uh, shots that I'm talking about don't carry over from Premiere into DaVinci Resolve because it's an effect applied in Premiere on top of footage, whereas DaVinci will only read the raw footage, not any effects applied to it. Which sucks, because I've got tons of clips that have warp stabilizing applied to them. Right, right, but like, the reason why that's an issue is because originally I was just going to import uh, basically an XML, XML file, basically a small little file, it won't even be that big, maybe a megabyte at the max, that tells DaVinci which clips are being used. Like basically it's an index, which clips are being used and where they are, where they're cut, and where they're organized at. And DaVinci will then re-import all the raw footage, splice it up and re-edit it in the exact same uh, way, which is really convenient. That's how you generally can convert uh, like a Premiere file to a Final Cut Pro file because they're all essentially the same type of program, just different uh, layouts and whatnot. But now I have to render out a full DPX sequence of the whole thing to color grade to then re-export as another 4K DPX image sequence. So remember that 530 gigs I was talking about? Multiply that by two. I'm running out of space. I have two two terabyte hard drives that uh, are mirrored, and I have enough space on them for. <sighs> I'm literally gonna have to be rendering things to and from like external hard drives, um, which of course slows down exporting process, which is lame. But I don't think it'll be too bad. I, I'm, I, I did a test render for 10 seconds and I uh, extrapolated that out and that should take a little over three hours to export at 4K TPX sequence. Hopefully DaVinci won't be too much longer than that, applying all the color. Probably will though, which is why I need to get the color stuff done as soon as possible. What I might end up having to do is just color balance all the footage. I might not get around to actually grading it at all, but knowing me, I'll want to. And I'll probably grade like the first couple minutes, and then the last eight minutes will be like just balanced. Uh, it'll still look great because balanced red footage looks amazing. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. Considering I've never used DaVinci before, this is going to be interesting. I mean, I kind of used it a few days ago. So while like things have been loading or rendering or like RAM previewing, I've been playing this game called Candy Box. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of it. It's it's literally like a browser-based ASC. I, I, I don't even know what that stands for. I think that's A-S-C-I-I. -I. Wow, I actually nailed it. Go me. 
uh, art. It's basically text character art, and it's an RPG. It's a full-fledged RPG, and it uh, it starts off as like eat all the candies or throw kin ten candies on the ground, and you're like, wait, what? And you're slowly making candy. You're getting like one candy per second for a while, and eventually you start being able to get lollipops. And then you start planting lollipops, and the more lollipops you plant, the more lollipops you get. And it's, it's, it's interesting because it's very addictive because it plays on uh, the human instinct to uh, be really satisfied by exponential returns. So it's like, next thing you know, like you're, you're planting things and you're like, oh man, all right, now I'm making uh, five lollipops per hour. This is great. And then you just keep going and all of a sudden you're making like one lollipop per second and then 100 lollipops per second and so now it's just like I'm at 333,000 lollipops right now and going up quickly and then it comes back full circle so you can buy candies to uh, level up your XP and then you go on quests and all this stuff I don't even know it's just been kind of running in the background here you have to let it like sit and load so it's been kind of like the perfect game for uh, after for like effects work because you do all this stuff while this is just like your stuff is just loading in the background it's like you're farming literally uh, and then you go use it all up do a quick little uh, match that literally takes 20 seconds and then you're you're done you're stuck and you're like well I guess I'll wait for another five minutes or 20 minutes or an hour depending on how much you want to have loaded 12 minute video <sighs> okay I you guys are pretty good at identifying that I don't like to have these videos go long. And that's just because I feel that I shouldn't have long videos, but I mean, I don't know. It's 6 a.m. I forgot how to brain.